What's up guys, today we're gonna to be going over how to install coping, paper stones, travertine, you name it. I'm gonna be showing you a very detailed install of setup, layout, tools, material, all of that. You guys have been asking me on my last video on all those little details, and so this one's gonna answer all that and show you guys every little step, and with that, let's get into the video. All right, the concrete isn't uh, finished like, you know, just the best because it doesn't have to be. You know, you can kind of see some just little inconsistencies, but it's fine as long as it was flat. And I just did a little rough finish here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm putting mortar on it and covering it, obviously. So, um, if anybody's got anything to say about it, it is what it is. So, so what I'm going to do while they're doing this is I'm going to come over here and double check all of our stones. These are our heart stones that we're using. The pavers. That's the outside. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just cut my corners the first step of this process is to cut 245s for each corner and then we're going to set 145 and then do one side and then we're going to set another 45 so both of them same time and then do that side and then do the middle that's how we do it and then put the the stone that is uh not quite you know because it's, it's not the same distance so we're going to put the difference in the middle so it's consistent uh so some of these these are pre-poured stones so uh you know they got some inconsistency edges on the back side look at that one that one's real bad so what i'm gonna do is make sure i got a grinder on hand and uh, just hit them so this is just kind of how the hearthstone is with this pre-poured it's that kind of lip a little bit what we're gonna do is just grind it just knock the edge off a little bit um but this stone is just an incredible looking porous stone i love it you can kind of just see the the edge of it right there all right, you guys, I'm going to show you the tools that I use to do this job. And uh, you guys can use whatever you want, but this is what I use. So I'm going to go through it. I got a Milwaukee battery mini saw. It's uh, it's pretty cool. There are the uh, numbers on it if you want to buy one. It's like an 8 inch blade, I think. I got a 6 inch speed square, 1 foot torpedo level. You know, my deadweight hammer, I think it's like uh, 8, 5 pounds or something and uh it's from uh cobalt 4.5 ounces or 45 ounces two inch trowel i got a mason trowel i think it's a 10 inch caulk gun speed square big one uh it's just i guess the next size because there's only two size speed squares and then a mallet string line and stake let me see what else we got i use kind of a blower sometimes to blow it off or a broom so i got like a little broom over here and then i got my mixing uh hoe over here to mix it up with my wheelbarrow obviously and then uh, i got a tape measure some miscellaneous tools you know my pencil and my knife and then i use a grinder to just kind of touch up some stuff so that's the uh tool layout all right so basically what we're gonna do is come off the corner and just mark a 45 with a pencil do everything with a pencil makes it way way nicer um so if this one is for this side then we need this one for this side and we need to cut it right here all these joints are going to be tight i'm not gonna grout them you can you can grout them leave a quarter to half inch and grout them but i'm not going to you can also seal these stones i recommend sealing them uh, i don't know what they're gonna what they'll do they got a real special sealer that hearthstone makes it's really nice so uh that's definitely something you might want to do it works for all stones as well so it's not just hearthstone you guys i'm cutting this paper stone i want you to pay close attention to details here when i'm cutting this you're going to want to really cut down that first uh end there that way there's no chipping make it nice and square this is going to take a lot of skill over time and then we're going to go and score that line just perfectly you can always go toward the piece that's scrap and then come over a little bit if you need to that's always acceptable and then get that line traced and then go all the way to the end cut all the way down and then come back and cut it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the cut and then grind any little imperfection out of it and then fit these stones together. I want them to fit perfectly. And using a grinder is a great tool to touch up any imperfections and 
Um, you know, if anybody out there is better than me at this, congrats to you. But uh, cutting with concrete saws in general are tough. Doing this with a 14 inch is basically impossible. You really have to have a small saw. Um, but this is a very effective way to do this. So the important part is don't chip the each end. And as you're scoring across that piece, make sure you go down about a half inch or so and then come back and cut it. Very important. What we're gonna do now, we got everything cleaned up. James is laying out the stones. We're gonna be sticking this coping out, three quarter out. So what I'm gonna do is set two stones, one on this side, one on that end, and then I'm gonna run a string line on that side all the way down here, and then the same thing on this end. So I have two string lines set up, and then that way I can get this corner set, and then we can start and get this whole thing done here. So we're gonna get that prepped, and then uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how that's done a little bit, uh, and then we'll get on to mix some mud. Okay, set. Reason we do three quarter is because this auto cover, it's got, you know, the front bar that pulls the auto cover in and out, and you cannot stick it over. Inch is just pushing it. So we give it a little more room. So we go three quarter, nice profile on each side, covers up anything, makes it really nice, and then you can live with that. So that's pretty much what we do. There we go. A quarter exactly. A quarter exactly. Make it good. You good right there? You want touching it or just outside of it? Just outside. Good? Yeah, right there. So I'm just gonna mark this right here. That way, I've got a good read on what's going on. Okay. We wanna keep it just above it. So as far as material goes, we're using a mortar mix type S from Lowe's Sacrete. I'm not particular. I got a Lowe's Home Depot, it's kind of my stores. And then I use 100% silicone, all purpose. You can get the more expensive stuff, the mold protection. It's like $15 or two, but I'm not doing that to be honest with you. And this stuff I'm gonna be using for the auto cover edge over here. We're gonna be putting a bead of silicone all the way here. So it'll seal that up, keep any water from coming underneath of it. Then we're ready to mix. <laughs> Dump it. All right, pretty much just get it in there. and We're gonna spread it out. I'm gonna show you guys how I set these corners and then set one and then it's all just about getting used to it and figuring it out after that. I like to come in here and just spread it out, spread it in like that. Get these insides nice. It's a little too thick there. This corner kind of sucks because you got string lines, but it is what it is. You know, and I'm, I don't claim to be the fastest mason out there. I don't, I don't really consider myself a mason at all, but you know, I can set these these stones really good, nice and level, and, and that's what matters as far as application goes, you know. Now I like to do is hit it with a level, kind of see where I'm at. I gotta come up some more there. Gotta come up a little bit. My corner's really good there. I don't know if you, there's some masons watching this. I don't know how you guys do it, but it just kind of works for me with this level, you know. It makes everything just nice and easy for me, to be honest. So, 
So, we'll actually make it just a little high on the back here. And then, as we beat it down, it'll all go. Then what I'm gonna do is uh, come in here and scrape out the corner because I don't want any big problems when I'm setting this. Just a little bit. You'll see what I'm saying. When you put these two together, it's got a tendency to squish up the mud. Next, I'm going to measure. I got about 12 inches. So 12 inches from here, go about right here. So there's silicone, put it about a half inch away. Nice big bead. And then we set them. The idea here is to set it, tap it in until it hits the metal and then set the rest of it. Now there's only so much you can do because of just um, the way the shell goes for level this direction. I'm always gonna have it level or even kicking out a little bit um, for water drainage. Just depends on what what, what I'm doing as far as the job goes, you know. I want to set out, out a little bit and then I can push it in versus getting it on that silicone and pushing it into the pool. Then underneath of it, we got silicone excess, okay? All right, we got more, more mortar here. I'm just gonna push it underneath of there. And we'll come back and tuck point on the back side here as well. And also we got concrete going on here. So there's plenty of things to lock this in. Um, but mainly we'll come back and tuck point it when we're done a little bit Still want to go there you go right there So that's good there. This has to go out This has to come in This corner takes the longest Right there, right there. Let's check our level, make sure we're, yeah, we got enough to beat down back, so. So you can kind of hear that thump, and I can see it's good there. You can hear that hollow, that's what we want. Okay, making sure it's lined up good here. Also making sure our cut is lined up as well. It's very important. All right, now we're gonna begin to tap here in the middle. Level's a little dirty. I'm gonna get it close to level, okay? Come back, reset it, reset this one. Okay. Now we gotta look out for these edges. These edges need to be perfectly flat. And they should when it gets perfectly level. You just want to be very easy with these. There we go, that looks beautiful. 
perfect perfect right there it's gonna have a tad bit of gap it's just the way that goes that's so dang good right there guys come back adjust a tad not much I'm actually gonna go back there right there right there Okay, there we go. And you guys can kind of see here, it already pushed out into the corner that I took it out. So don't, f you know, fear on that point. Of, there's not gonna be enough mortar, whatever the case is, there's plenty. So those are set, we're ready to go. Uh, I'm just gonna crush this side and uh, it's the same pretty much. I'm gonna show you the technique on one and then it's, the same on the rest so I'm gonna come here scrape it because I don't want that thin set that uh, mortar to get up inside don't make fun of me I'm using two hands someone's gonna roast me for that I know <sighs> nice big bead face first so bull nose out like I said stick it out just a tad bit Run it nice and tight here. I got a lot, a lot of mortar. Tap it, make sure it hits. There you can hear it. Hit it right here in the middle toward the front. It's gonna keep the front down and it's gonna push this mortar out. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. James, give me the grinder. Run into a problem here. Ugh. This edge here. I don't know, dude. It's just poor different thicknesses. You need to wipe it off. You need to wipe it off first. Oh, well, there you go. Inconsistencies of a poured stone. That's what you get right there. This is part of the process. It's good to show you guys as I go along what's going on. Because this is, I'm just going to contact them and, and uh, tell them that they got some problems you know that's that's really ridiculous to be honest with you let's go on to the next one it's just these in hey give me that grinder it's just this front edge you might have to knock off all these edges like this Live and you learn, guys. That's how it goes. So, I'm going to clean that back out. I'm going to put this all on the video, too. So you guys can see this entire mishap right here. I want to show you guys these mistakes. Now, uh, I don't know if I'm blaming them all on me, but... There you go. You hear it hit. There you go. That's it guys. You want to line up the front edge, not the back edge. Some they're not they're not as consistent as I'd like them, but it is what it is. 
when I get done, when I get done, I'm gonna come back and as I go about halfway, I'll come back and make sure they're straight. And then uh, we keep going. I mean, that's the method. You do wanna eliminate the waste as much as possible here, just because you wanna keep mixing up mortar, but I'll just come back and scrape some and throw it back on. Um, but that's it. So we're gonna keep going. When we get to the cuts, I'll show you guys what I'm doing there. Um, but for now, we're gonna get this knocked out and then uh, we'll get to that. All right, you guys, we're just about done with this row. <clears throat> what we're gonna end up doing is cutting the length snug, maybe about a 16th short. And then you got this lip here. So basically what we're gonna do is go about, uh, I think, what is this, about three quarters, I believe. Yeah, three quarter plus. So we're gonna go about five eighths of an inch on the stone down, and then we're gonna back cut it. So we're gonna go ahead and measure this out, cut it, and then I'll show you what we did. And then we're uh, done with this side. It's a little janky cut, but this is basically it. We, I don't think we're gonna hit over there, so we're gonna be fine. We're gonna double check it here. Um, and that's basically it. We'll fit it and then we'll mortar it down. All right, crisis averted. We are done with this side. Basically what happened was this one was so crooked on the face, it, it was just bad. I mean, um, I gotta call these guys up at the company. This is stupid. It's just stupid. I mean, look at that. That's just nuts, dude. I mean, this is a custom stone. This stuff is not cheap. I ain't gonna put up with it, so give them a call. But pretty much, we're gonna get this all done. That is everything on that. Uh, as far as much as I can show you, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm gonna wrap this whole thing up next hour or two and then uh, the whole thing will be done all right a little tip here for you guys when you're setting these corners put a little tape on them and it holds it together and that way it's all locked together and uh, everything looking good it on both corners just makes it really nice when it's trying to separate and move because you got about a half inch of mortar three quarter into there and uh, it wants to, you know, swivel back and forth. I have to, some of these aren't even lined up, but I gotta wait till it sets up a little bit, come back and tap them in on the line, make them straight. Uh, but yeah, just a little hack for you guys as you're setting them. All right, y'all, we are done. Everything looks good. Everything come out nice. This batch, particularly, they have some bows in them, and I contacted the uh, people who made them, and we're gonna see what we can do, but my guess is, is they're not gonna do anything. Um, we put the cut in the middle. It is what it is. I mean, these are rough. I mean, they're not rough, but they are definitely some, uh, porous looking stones and they have their own imperfections in them but especially like this outside here i don't know if you guys can see it but there's pieces coming in and out 
what I'm gonna end up doing is marking like a half inch all the way around with a probably a chalk line and then just saw cutting down about an inch and then breaking it off and that way when we put the concrete up to it it's perfect line because we will put a small like quarter half inch quarter three eighths control joint here or just a beveled edge on the concrete so it looks really good all the way around so that'll fix that i hope i included everything in this one i want it to be more detailed so if you guys have any questions comments below like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and cue the montage <laughs>